guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, ladies and gents, back with a video on a Sunday night, uh, the 28th of July, 2024. There is a lot happening in the crypto world. I mean, Donald Trump fully backing Bitcoin. That is huge. Obviously, you've got uh, Robert Kennedy also backing Bitcoin, Cynthia Loomis. There's just a lot happening with crypto, guys, and especially with Bitcoin now, potentially going to be in reserves uh, in the US government, which is insane. Uh, and I believe Donald Trump said that he's not going to sell Bitcoin, so they're just going to accumulate more of it. And uh, I believe there's 200,000 that they're currently holding at the moment, which is wild. Uh, we've got updates in relation to XRP. Of course, that is a given on my channel. How much do you actually need to hold uh, to be in the top 10%? I love doing updates on this. Uh, Ethereum ETFs as well. They're trading, but they're not going as well as what Bitcoin ETFs did anyway. But uh, we're still very early. Van Eck also teasing at Solana ETFs. MicroStrategy. This is insane. $13 million price prediction for Bitcoin. And I'm not kidding. This came out uh, today or yesterday uh, from Michael Saylor. Uh, we're going to have a look at obviously all the Bitcoin conference as well. What's going on there as well as my trading bot. So let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, if you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are just getting insane in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that, all right? So make sure you give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything, it's down there. Thank you very much, you guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, all right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Uh, it's been an interesting weekend in the crypto world, of course. Uh, there's a lot going on with the Bitcoin conference that's occurred over the weekend. It's really bullish, like it's insane. And uh, you can see where this industry is going in the future. It's going to be wild, right? Let's go to the community tab. Uh, now, again, this is no BS. Look at Michael Saylor here putting up a $13 million price prediction for Bitcoin as a base case. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this. The bear is $3 million. Base case is $13 million. And the bull is $49 million. We're going to get into exactly when this you know, could be happening. But 21 year forecast. Gosh, could you imagine? Could you imagine how much money that's going to be? That's insane. Love it. Uh, yes, Gary Gensler could potentially lose his job as well. Uh, you know, Donald Trump basically came out straight out, said that he's going to be firing Gary Gensler from his position come November, which is going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait for that because, again, Gary Gensler is still uh, due to remain in his position until 2026, another two years. Can't have that. Now, uh, yes, Trump is about to send Bitcoin parabolic. Uh, you need to watch this. We're going to watch this. And yes, the $13 million price prediction. Top altcoins in my portfolio today. We have Ravain, Win. I mean, it's a cool project. Uh, Sologenic, Casper, which I'm extremely bullish on. And OMI, OMI. Very, very nice project right there. Let's go to coin market cap. We do have $2.4 trillion in market. It is going up 5%, which is nice. $74 billion in volume. That is still quite low. It needs to get above 180 to $200 billion in 24 hours. People are sending me emails like crazy. Bitcoin dominance right here, 55.44%. And we're at 63 on the fear and greed index, which is nice. 
Bitcoin's currently trading at $67,406, which is nice. It did pump up yesterday because of Donald Trump speaking at the conference. Uh, we have Ethereum at $3,221. Solana's at $183. Now, I'm very bullish on Solana. Uh, we have XRP at $0.60, cents, still incredibly undervalued. Uh, Dogecoin right here at $0.13. Cents. I'm still holding on to a, uh, my Doge because, again, I sold off the majority of that and put into Bitcoin. Uh, when it pumped to about $0.80 cents Australian, $0.60 cents USD, it was nice. Toncoin, $6.53. Cardano is at $0.41. Cents. My favorites, Chainlink, $13, which is nice. Uh, ICP, $9.52. This was $141, I believe it was, around that price in the peak of the bull market. Australian dollars, by the way. Uh, let's have a look here. XLM is at $0.10. Cents. Hedera is at six cents. Keep scrolling down as well. Immutable X at $1.46. I like that. V Chain still doing nothing. Pain in the ass, but I still love it. Sui is at 77 cents. Raul Power is putting a lot of stuff up about Sui and their speed of transactions, which is wild. Optimism at $1.72. Keep scrolling down here. Let's have a look. Uh, Say is at 36 cents as well. That is a gem. I'm bullish on Axie Infinity still. That's $6 uh, at the time of recording. Um, again, I was dollar cost averaging, uh, just to put things in perspective, 80 Australian dollars, right? And I was staking it earning 42 or 45% APY, which is annual percentage yield. That was wild. I'm still looking for a good place to do that, but it's difficult now. Quant is at $72. Uh, Neo's $11 as well. Some good gems right here. E uh, XEC is one that I'm looking at adding in the portfolio. I've been eyeing this off for a long time. We'll see where we go with that. Worldcoin is at $2.28. And uh, let's keep scrolling down here, see if we can find some other favorites. Of course, XDC at three cents. Trade finance, real world utilities, what I'm looking at. That's no BS. All right, let's go to crypto bubbles. And before I do, I do have the Wall Street Boy University linked below. Guys, this is my official Patreon page where I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, trading bots for three commas. Everything's up here. Make sure you go join up. And more importantly, my dividend investing again, which is growing significantly. Uh, and uh, you need to check that out because that's consistent cash flow. It's very traditional. It's not as volatile. And it's a totally different strategy to what I was implementing a long time ago. So I've gone full-blown income investing because, again, at my age at 35, I want to get that income, you know, going pretty quick, all right? So if you're younger, you've got plenty of time, but, you know, it's always a great time to start early. Anyway, go join up. There's a lot of useful information in there. Uh, let's have a quick look at three commas. Now, again, I've got a lot of bots set up both on gate.io and, of course, OKX. Both exchanges are an official partner of my channel as well as three commas. Now, three commas, guys, is incredible trading software. It allows you to trade the markets 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, it's just freaking awesome, right? Now, I've got all my dollar cost averaging bots set up now, again, in a long position. You can trade these on a short position. It is completely up to you. Uh, but again, we're still very early in this space. And again, I've been using this software now for three years. But um, gate.io, I've got my leverage position as well. Uh, so I am uh, using 10x leverage. Be careful with this. It's up to you. But uh, gate.io, you can trade in Australia using leverage. Unfortunately, a lot of exchanges don't have that feature because of the government here. It's been banned pretty much, but gate.io still works. Uh, I've got a multi-bot set up with that one and that is making profits every single day. All right, $40, $50. I'm not complaining about that at all. Uh, my spot trading bots are on OKX. Just make that very clear. Now, again, I'm trading Solana. We've got uh, Hedera, Immutable X, Matic, uh, Polkadot, XRP, Ethereum Classic, DYDX, Chainlink, uh, and Ethereum as well. And Toncoin, I should say. So these are running nonstop. I don't need to do anything with these. I'm going to be putting more in, of course, you know, times are tough at the moment. So needs more capital. Just uh, have to be aware of that. But uh, you can trade with whatever you like. Setups are all in the Wall Street Boy University. Go check it out. Um, I will post up there tomorrow. Anyway. Now, again, I, I'm using OKX and Gate.io. You can use whatever exchange you like. That is completely up to you. All right. Now, go join up. Let's have a look at crypto bubbles on the hour. And again, the market's dipped uh, overnight. We've got some gainers right here, but let's go to the day and see what's going on here. Biggest corner is BCH, uh, Bitcoin Cash. I do trade this. It's up 63% this year, which is nice. Let's have a look at the week. It's been a pretty flat week, to be honest with you. Helium, again, I was curious about those helium mining um, boxes you could buy. Does anyone actually do it? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let's have a look at the month, what the biggest gainers are. Popcat, I've been seeing a lot of this. That's 45%, probably a good one to trade. Uh, but in terms of holding in the portfolio, no. Uh, XRP is up 27% uh, 
on the month. That is bullish. All right, love that. And uh, we're still holding long term for that. And of course, Solana, biggest uh, gainer in my portfolio, 633%. That is insane. Honestly, it's ridiculous, right? So uh, I'm still very bullish on that. And of course, XRP and Solana ETFs could be coming very, very soon, quicker than we think. Now, Donald Trump suddenly sends the price of Bitcoin higher from his speech. We're going to watch that whole speech. I'm not going to read into too much of this, but the price soared from 69,000, uh, over 69,000, up from recent lows of 53,000, which is really nice as well. And Trump has embraced Bitcoin in the recent months. Sorry, my nose is running. It's freaking cold here. Freezing in Melbourne at the moment, right? It's ice. Um, after making millions from his Ethereum-based NFTs, and of course, speaking at the Bitcoin conference, which is absolutely wild. Sorry about this, guys. My nose is literally running. Don't know why. Hype has been building since Trump announced the speaker of the Bitcoin 2024 conference in Nashville, Tennessee, with the conference organizer David Bailey saying it will be the most consequential political event in Bitcoin's history as a defining cultural moment in our society. This is freaking huge. Not only have you got a candidate running for president, the strongest candidate, in my opinion. I don't like to get political, but the comments he made with respect to Bitcoin being added to the United States reserves, uh, and of course, not selling that and accumulating more, that is freaking huge. Can you imagine what happens with governments around the world? This, it's literally going to run out. I'm telling you now, it will run out. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, again, the US would attain a position of dominance no other country will be able to un, uh, obviously use, right? Uh, usurp, whatever that means. But uh, its Bitcoin reserve would eventually reach a value of hundreds of trillions of dollars, he said. That is insane. Bring it on. Can't wait for that. We're going to get into that in a second. Yes, Ripple and XRP surge is 66% as hype around an ETF gains momentum. In my opinion, it will happen. We will see it, as well as Solana. I mean, XRP's meteoric rise, full by, fueled by increasing adoption in the ETF speculation, has ignited hopes for a full-fledged resurgence. I've been fully fledged, fully fledged on XRP for, what, four years now? Bullish, bring it on. And while the crypto market reeled from a recent downturn, a phoenix seems to rise from the ashes right here. And XRP, once counted among the fallen, defined gravity with a meteoric ascent. The value surged uh, by an astonishing 66% in just two weeks, a performance that left many scratching their heads and wondering if a full-fledged resurgence uh, again is on the uh, you know horizon right now, which is really nice as well. And beyond the price surge, a deeper dive into XRP's metrics revealed the compelling narrative of growing adoption and interest. Welcome to the club. Activity on the XRP ledger has ignited, with new addresses being minted and accelerated pace from the total number of ad active addresses reaching its highest point since March. Now, SBI's XRP ETF push ignites excitement. Bring it on. These indicators paint a picture of the begoing XRP ecosystem attracting a growing user base right here, which is nice. Now, again, SBI Holdings, a stalwart supporter of XRP, that it plans to collaborate with Franklin Templeton on potentially introducing ETFs in Japan. Bring it on. It's about freaking time. How good would that be as well? Uh, and again, especially considering the partnership between Ripple and SBI, I mean, they're using it like crazy. So bring it on. Can't wait for that. Let's have a look here. Let's go to the rich list. I love doing updates on this, ladies and gents. Uh, again, really good website to get some statistics on this. Let's go to the current statistics. Now, how much XRP do you need to be holding to be in the top 10%? I love doing updates on this because it changes all the time. 3,000 XRP, right? That's 10%. Uh, that's 525,000 people. It's not many. Uh, 10,000 is 262,000 people. That's 5%. 4% is 13,800. You've got 3%, 20,000. Uh, we have 2% at 31,000, 1% at 61,000, 0.5 is 110,000 XRP. That is a lot. Uh, it's a lot of money, by the way. 0.2% is 236,000. If you're in the 0.1%, that's 418,000. Now again, there's 526 people on this planet that currently hold 7 million XRP. Now again, if you're one of those 0.01%, you're an absolute freaking legend, all right? So there you go. You can see it right here, guys. Look at that. Beautiful right there. I'd love to be in the top 0.01%, that is for sure. Updates on the Ethereum ETFs. 
Uh, it's really interesting to see that they're actually not going crazy. There's a lot of trading, but uh, a few months after the SEC gave initial green light, the spot Ethereum ETFs have officially hit the ground last Tuesday. However, the immediate results have been quite underwhelming and one can't help but compare them to spot Bitcoin ETFs launched in January this year, which again is interesting. And uh, it's due to Grayscale selling off a lot of uh, Ethereum anyway. But the following three days were quite different. A trend that quickly changed. Instead of overall inflows, the daily numbers turned red uh, with $133 million taken out tw on July 24th, $152 million withdrawn on July 25th, and $162 million pulled out on July 26th, which is crazy. And it's worrying trend of the outflows are actually growing. Grayscale's ETH E lost $326 million, $346 million, and $356 million, respectively, in those three days. Thank you, Grayscale. But I told you guys this was going to happen anyway. So moving on, let's get in through the knees. Van Eck is teasing for a Solana ETF. Bring it on. Can't wait for that. Uh, and Van X said the large number of attendees at the Bitcoin conference inquired about the Solana, giving hints of a Solana ETF coming ahead. I'd love to see that happen as well. Uh, asset managers remain divided over the chances of a Solana ETF approval. It will freaking happen as well as an XRP one for sure. Quick look at CryptoMeter. Then we're going to watch uh, Trump interview at the Bitcoin conference. I think that's very important. Money going into Solana, Ethereum, Doge. We have, uh, what else we got here? Casper. BCH, TRX, we have FT, Bitcoin, of course, and uh, that is pretty much it. Now, let's get into the juicy stuff, then we'll end up on this. Uh, thank you to those 6,473 people. You guys absolutely rock. Now, again, Donald Trump. I want to play this interview right here because I think it's freaking awesome. Have a look at this, all right? You need to listen to this. This is going to be incredibly bullish. Listen. 1,000 Bitcoin or 1% of the total supply that will ever exist. But for too long, our government has violated the cardinal rule that every Bitcoiner knows by heart. Never sell your Bitcoin, right? That's right, isn't it, huh? That's right. How did I figure that one? Never sell your Bitcoin. And so, as the final part of my plan today, I am announcing that if I am elected, it will be... The policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. We'll keep 100%. I hope you do well, please. This will serve, in effect, as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. As you know... of the Bitcoin currently held by the United States government was obtained through law enforcement action. You know that. They took it from you. Let's take that guy's life. Let's take his family, his house, his Bitcoin. We'll turn it into Bitcoin. It's been taken away from you because that's where we're going now. That's where this country is going. It's a fascist regime. And so as I take steps to transform that vast wealth into a permanent national asset to benefit all Americans, today I repeat my pledge to commute the sentence of Ross Ulbricht to a sentence of time served. It's enough. It's I mean, that's bullish. Uh, it's crazy. But basically his plan, a recap of this, right? Donald Trump 2024 Bitcoin conference. One day, I will fire Gary Gensler and appoint a new SEC chairman, create US government strategic national Bitcoin stockpile if elected. That is freaking huge, right? US government will keep 100% of Bitcoin it owns, which is crazy. Bitcoin is going to the moon. Never sell your Bitcoin. Bitcoin will one day probably surpass the market cap of gold. I reaffirm my pledge to commit Ross Ulbricht's sentence. Uh, there will never be a CBDC while I'm president. Bitcoin and crypto will skyrocket like never before if elected president. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The current US government is threatening the dollar. The United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and Bitcoin superpower of the world. Uh, Bitcoin stands for freedom, sovereignty, and independence from government co um, coercion and control. I pledge the Bitcoin community that uh, the day I take office, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's anti-crypto crusade will be over. Wow. 
Incredible. Absolutely love it. I'm going to end up on that, Bulls, but that's insane. Absolutely love it. Make sure you join the Wall Street Bull University. Things are getting pretty crazy in this space. And uh, what do you think about a $13 million price prediction now from Michael Saylor after hearing that? Stay safe, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Peace out.